Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. I apologize for my appearance. I just got done finishing painting the last of our windows. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that um, I took a week off with my husband to basically do trim baseboards and a bunch of other projects. So we still had a couple um, touch up things we had to do and I just finished the last of the windows. So I'm covered in paint. It's Sunday. I figured this is the perfect time for me to unbox this box. So today we are going to be opening, it's called Fragrant Jewels. And I had seen an ad on probably Facebook or Instagram for this company. Um, it's basically one of those bath bomb candle jewelry kits that you can get. So you use the bath bomb, you burn the candle, and inside are these um, little plastic containers that contain rings. I've always been really curious about them and I wanted to see what the quality was like. So now that I'm a mess, I think now is the perfect time for me to run a bath, sit down, relax, and see what kind of jewelry I got. So without further ado, let's open this box. Actually, let me back up a little bit. So pricing for this was $19.99 plus shipping. So after it was all said and done, my order total was $21.30, um, which isn't too bad. Like I said, you get one candle and one bath bomb. There's one ring inside each, so you get two rings. You did get to designate your ring size upon checkout. Now, without further ado, let's get into the box. Everything's really packaged well. They bubble wrapped the crap out of everything, which is great. I really appreciate that. I used to work in shipping, so I <laughs> know how um, packages are handled, so I definitely appreciate this. Uh, there is a little note in here that is quite long. Okay, actually, I might read this. This is pretty entertaining. <clears throat> it says, please read, exclamation point, exclamation point. I went to the new fair that's in town yesterday, and you'll never believe who I ran into, Amy Newton. I haven't seen her around since her husband died. Her hair's dyed platinum blonde now, and she was wearing big black sunglasses. I was in line at the caramel apple stand when she appeared out of nowhere. She looked over her shoulder a few times, told me she was being followed, then pulled me behind the stand. She pressed something into my hand and said, protect this with your life. You're our only hope now. It's very Star Wars-ish. Then she just disappeared. You should have seen how freaked out Mrs. Newton looked. I panicked and shoved what she handed me into my pocket and ran off to the Ferris wheel to be sure no one could see me. When I reached the top overlooking the whole fairgrounds, I pulled what Mrs. Newton handed me from my pocket. It was a paper with some sort of map and folded inside was a ring that looked really old and expensive. I wonder if it's the ring someone is after. I didn't want to risk anyone seeing it before I knew more, so I hid it under the seat of the gondola on the Ferris wheel for now. Why did Mrs. Newton say I was her only hope? Something doesn't feel right, and I need to get to the bottom of it. But you're my best friend and the only one I trust. I need your help. It will be just like solving all those mysteries when we were growing up. The drawing is of the fairgrounds, so that's where we should start. Meet me there tomorrow at sundown. Someone has to know something. See you soon. Sarah. Join the adventure and discover bonus clues at fragrantjewels.com backslash help Sarah. So that's kind of neat. I wasn't really expecting that. And then there's also, uh, I don't know if this is going to show up. Let me see if I, it'll show up better on the top down. It says World of Jewels Fun Fair. Gertrude's famous golden apples. And it looks like hint each ring engraving will unlock special clues oh this is kind of fun so it's not just like you take a bath and get a ring there's like actually a little game involved in this that's pretty neat I'm gonna have to check that out okay so there's that so then let's open up this big guy oh wow
when you signed up, you do get to pick what kind of scent and bath bomb that you want. Um, there was some florally ones, a unicorn, mermaid, that kind of thing. But I chose Gertrude's Famous Golden Apples. And this smells absolutely amazing. Poured in the USA. That's kind of cool. So it's a double wick inside. And it's just a cotton wick. And then here is the bath bomb. And that is so pretty. It's just like a little golden green metallic apple. And it smells like, oh my God, it smells exactly like the candle. So the one thing that I did like is that on the site, they did kind of show you the style of ring that you could be getting. Um, it looked like, it looks like, especially on this, all the jewels are kind of the same. They just have different settings in them. And I really liked that when I got on the website. So you kind of get like a little bit of an idea of what kind of ring to expect. So I am going to go light this candle. Hopefully the ring is close to the top. Probably not, but I'll definitely be able to get the ring out of this one. So I'm going to light candle, run a bath, and I will be right back. All right, so I just got done with my bath. My arch nemesis glitter is attacked once again. The outside of that bath bomb was covered in gold glitter and now so am I. I have a nice fine little sparkle to me everywhere. Just a spot of paint. And my tub is covered in glitter, but that's okay. So. I did retrieve one of the rings. Um, the candle is still burning, so I'm gonna have to burn that down to get the other one out. And as soon as I do, I will film that and uh, show you what I got in there as well. So to give you kind of a timeline, it took about 10 minutes for that bath bomb to disperse to where I could get this out. So let's see what we got. So there is the ring. And I did get it in a size six because I'm a weird ring size. Um, I think I'm like a five and three quarters. So I just bumped it up to a six just to be on the safe side. That is really pretty. I like that. And it actually feels like it's a halfway decent um, quality to it. It's got some like weight to it a little bit. Obviously this is fake. And then I will check in probably later this week 
to show you the second ring that I got. So um, stay tuned for that and I'll be back at you with that ring opening. That had to have been the slowest burning candle I've ever owned, which normally would be a good thing because it did have a really slow burn to it. So it's lasted quite a while. Um, we pretty much burnt that thing every night after work for several hours and it still took, what's today? Eight days, nine days, eight days? Eight days, yeah, uh, till it got low enough for me to actually pull this little packet out. So I just used tweezers, as you saw in the video, to pull it out. Um, so let's see what the second ring looks like that I got. Okay, so the packaging didn't exactly hold up. Uh, it's just a plastic bag and there was kind of like a little hole in here. So I do have a little bit of the wax residue on the code sheet and on the ring, but I should be able to clean it off pretty, pretty okay. So here is the second ring right here. And here's the first ring. So the second ring has more of an opaque jewel in the center. It almost looks like pearly. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. It's really pretty. Again, it has a little bit of a heft to it. And then once I clean it up, it'll shine real pretty. So those are the two rings that I got. Um, so for 20 bucks, I got a bath bomb a candle, the slowest burning candle on the planet, and two rings. Another thing to say about the candle real quick is that it has a really nice uh, warm throw. What that means in candle, if you don't know, is that when it's heated, the throw of the scent is um, how strong it is. And it's got a pretty good throw to it. So I we light it at night and you can smell it throughout the entire house. So um, highly recommend this. This was a fun little package to get. Um, I was really surprised with the little game. I still haven't gotten onto it to see um, what's going on with Mrs. Newton and why she gave me a very expensive looking ring. So um, I'm going to play around with that a little bit. But yeah, that's just kind of a neat little touch added to uh, something like this. So let me know what you think below. Have you ever tried any of these? Um, have you ever won the $10,000 ring um, that they advertise or know anybody who has? Highly doubt it. But anyways, Thank you all for joining me today. Make sure you hit that like button and make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Thanks for joining me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.